dear all welcome to civil services with saki and as you know this lecture is my this lecture is after a very long gap so after resume my this uh, major environmental concept series so you can find easily update of any uh, regarding the ecology environment and all that and basically it is related to the major environmental concept series as you know and i am very very glad to share that this year in civil services means about four questions directly asked from paper first and paper third this four question one is from water resources another is as you know the wind pattern like the easterly and third one is as you know the ipcc climate change and fourth as you know the chandrayaan so these four are the ma major uh, uh, one of the uh, major portion of these uh, civil services examination so and another as you know uh, our direct 20 plus question in pt so that's why this video will be very very significant for you and your colleagues basically for the civil services examination so let's uh, we start with our topic so in this uh, video we will discuss what type of the organism inhabit ecosystem first second is how do organism depend on one another so how these organism depend one another second is what are the tropic level another is what are food chain and food waves another is what are carnivore herbivores omnivores and detritivores and fourth is what are key selected and are selected species and another is what is bio magnification in food chain so what is the bio magnification and why this is significant for the higher tropic level species so as you know this video is very significant for prelims as well as mains so you can solve various questions uh, regarding uh, mains so uh, if we see after watching this video you will be able to answer the following question these four question first first question is what is the difference between the autotroph and heterotroph explain with an example so you can easily answer this question second question is explain what a food chain or food wave so with some example so you can also explain as food wave and food chain third one is describe the difference between the creature generally eat so what type of the creature it with whether it is carnivorous herbivorous detritivorous and all that so what are the two reproductive strategy so what these two like the case selected are selected so what are these strategy so after watching this video you can easily understand these strategy another fourth is explain bio magnification and its consequences on higher level heterotroph so you can easily answer uh, these question question number 1 2 3 4 so that's why these four question is one of the significant question of the environment topic so stay with us and watch this video till the end till the end of this video so uh, you can find very very uh, informative uh, topic in this video so number one what type of the organism inhibit in ecosystem so if you see the world ecosystem imply the interdependency and other interaction between the different type of the organism so between the different type of the organism and various other component of the environment so it is the interaction between the organism and the various component of the environment and together to the component and the process represent a complex if you see the chaining system most of the organism if you see most of the organism are 
dependent on a particular setting. For example, uh, see uh, fish need needing water, but they are also dependent on the organism for the nutrition, defense, or place to live. So there are some different hierarchies in that influences that what happen in an ecosystem and whether it is survive or no. So these are the basic things about the ecosystem and the uh, uh, interaction between the uh, and dependency between the various organisms. So let's uh, we can uh, see another question how do organisms depend one another. So how these organisms depend one another so see some organism most notably plant as you know the plant extract they need directly from the soil water air and energy in the environment basically this energy from the solar energy uh, by the photosynthesis so most of the organism are more interdependent if we see the plant plant only, uh, only dependent on the environment whether it is soil or air or uh, energy from the sun but other uh, animal or other species are dependent one another so driving their food from the plant so animal drive from food to plant and other organism in most e ecosystem there is a complex chain of interdependency it is called food prey. so they are independent so what are these labels basically uh, it is called tropic label so what is the tropic label so see here tropic labels so if you see this picture this picture is as you see first level second level tropic so first you see the organism that acquire what they need from the soil water and energy environment without consuming other organism are called autotrophs so these are autotrophs these call these call are autotrophs so shown here as you see here and it is a typical example of a autotroph so these so it is first level autotroph now we move to the second level if you see the second level so organism that acquire their food from other organisms <coughs> such as a, from plant are heterotrophs in this figure human and cow are both are heterotrophs if you see here it is called cow it is first level heterotroph if human directly consume corn so human also called uh, first level heterotroph but if you see the another thing if you see if we consume corn and dire uh, directly after first level autotroph so uh, we, we first level heterotroph so here human first level heterotroph because if we consume corn but if we uh, uh, feed corn to the cattle so if we feed these corn to the cattle and after it uh, after drink its milks and stay uh, it a state where second level so if either we uh, take the milk or either we take a steak or meat from this second level animal we as uh, first level animal we are second level heterotroph so here human here human is second level heterotroph so human may be second level may be first level heterotroph so these are the level of the so if you uh, go to the above in the uh, food chain, you can uh, uh, up the level, level first, level second, level third level and all higher level. So if you see here, it's take, uh, so if you see the, it's take large amount of energy to grow corn. So if you grow a corn, so you need very large amount of energy because this energy from the sun for the photosynthesis and the power to the tractor for the, uh, and the har uh, power of the harvester truck that get the corn from the field to the supermarket so these energy are added in this corn so if we eat uh, 
सेकेंड और हाइयर लेवल हेट्रोट्रॉप वी एक्वायर एंड वेस्ट मच एंड मोर इनर्जी सो वी नीड दिस टाइप ऑफ इनर्जी एंड फाइनली दिस इनर्जी एंड प्लस दिस इनर्जी सो we need more energy if you uh, if we in second level if uh, we in first level we need less energy so uh, if you go to the uh, higher level you need more more energy so uh, so it's the energy uh, basically configuration in the uh, tropic level so let's uh, we move forward and see food chain and food web so if we see here here is a food chain uh, as uh, you see here so <coughs> one way to portray the dependence of one type of organism to the another it is to arrange in the order which the consumptions occur from bottom to top from bottom to top from bottom to top consum consumption occur on, and it is uh, basically this is uh, called uh, food chain so <coughs> the autotroph if you see here if you see here autotroph represented by three variety of cactus these three variety of these three variety of the cactus if you see here <coughs> at it is basically if you see the base level so they acquire energy from the sunlight driven photosynthesis for this reason this reason uh, 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 autotrophs are also known as or also called as primary producer so this is called primary producer autotroph are called primary producer so let's we move forward and see the secondary uh, uh, tertiary see in this chain so if you see here grasshopper grasshopper is primary consumer so grasshopper it's parts of the cacti and so the first level heterotroph so it is also first level heterotroph first level heterotrophs is primary consumer <coughs> and if you see the snake it's the grasshopper so this snake if you see here snake snake it's the grasshopper if you see here this snake this is like its grasshopper so a snake is second level uh, heterotroph or it is secondary consumer second level heterotroph or secondary consumer and another uh, if you see the all that feed the snake so if you see here all that feed the snake are third level heterotroph it is third level at all so if you see here you can find a chain this is called food chain so sequencing of organism from autotroph to the higher level heterotroph is called a food chain so what is a food chain sequencing of organism from autotroph to higher level heterotroph is called food chain so it is called food chain let's we move forward and see what is food web another is if you see the relationship between the different type of the organism within an ecosystem are typically more complex so as uh, we are going to see the food chain so uh, our ecosystem is no so simple because it is very very complex maybe grasshopper eaten by not a snake eaten by some rat eaten by some other animal this uh, uh, animal or rats eaten by a snake and etc so uh, that's why it's a complex phenomenon so more complex than a single linear food chain so to represent such complexity we envision a network of link forming a food web so it is called network of link so if you see here you can see the first level cactus cactus may be eaten by an grasshopper rat squirrel it is here but it may be directly eaten by this rat and uh, and and rat also eaten grass 
Hooper. And also this rate is eaten by all, eaten by SDEC and ETC. So let's, uh, we move for, forward and see here. So in this food web, an organism can have several food sources to be food for the several organism higher up in the food chain. So if you see the higher up in the food chain, it may be uh, the multiple choice of the uh, uh, for the food for an animal. If you see here a mouse, see here a mouse. So if you see here a mouse, so mouse can eat cactus or grasshopper. It may be eat cactus directly or it maybe grasshopper and be preyed upon the by all or a snake so uh, they eaten by all or they may be eaten by a snake and finally if you see the uh, a snake uh, basically eaten by all or preyed by all so this type of the complex food uh, uh, mechanism is basically represented by food wave so that's a food so uh, one thing is uh, if you see the animals so these uh, various animals have various uh, type of the uh, diets so it's called carnivorous herbivorous omnivorous and detrovorous so see as you see here carnivorous uh, herbivorous carnivorous and omnivorous like this elephant and bear and lion so different type of the creature prefer different kind of food some eat only plant it means herbivorous some eat only meat carnivorous some have diverse diet so diverse diet means omnivorous and some eat food in soil so it is called detriovorous detriovorous so such food references control the position that type creature on a food chain or way. so basically this type of the chain basically controlled by uh, basically nature or ecosystem and it is very, uh, this type of the uh, habit of the uh, basically food is very very significant for our ecosystem so let's we see one by one it is carnivore as you saw, carnivores exclusive or mainly feed on animal as they include life. This type of the line, if you see here. And similar predators of the cat, like the raptors, snakes, and other reptiles. Uh. And many insects, carnivores that eat insects are also called some carnivores exclusive eat insects and they called insectivores. Insectivores. Words. So, uh, one of the best example for the carnivores is lion. Another is herbivores. If you see here, so herbivores like uh, this elephant, as you know, see here, this elephant. So, it plant grazing and browsing animals like the, if you see the horses, goat, deers and giraffes are herbivores. Basically, some many um, birds, uh, basically uh, some birds eat seed or fruits eaten, insects and uh, small mammals are also herbivorous. So, some herbivorous lives in water. So, uh, if you find some herbivorous, uh, you can find some herbivorous in the ocean, you can find some herbivorous in the rivers. So, uh, some aquatic herbivorous also. So uh, let's move forward and see another is omnivorous. So as you know, see omnivorous creature with the diverse diet that includes plants. It may be pl it plants, other creatures, almost any edible things they find. Like human. These include most beer, raccoons, cotimundi. Here is a cotimundi. This uh, animal is called cotimundi, and uh, some birds, a small mammal, insect, fish, and also human. Human also uh, fall in this category, basically omnivorous. Let's uh, we see the detriovorous. So if you see detriovorous eat, uh, basically if you see here detriovorous uh, basically it's uh, detrites 
the remains of basically decomposing non-living plants and animals so it means dead plants and dead animals remains of the dead plants in the soil basically earthworm are the best known of these so if you see the earthworm earthworm is here earthworm is best known distrio was if you see but other include like the miliopods, flights and aquatic bottom feeders such as sea cucumber. So if you go to the aquatic uh, area whether it, uh, in the oceans, ocean floor, you can find sea cucumber. Sea cucumber is also detrio word. See here. This is sea cucumber. This is sea cucumber. Sea cucumber is also detrio word. So these uh, are detrievers. So let's we see K selected and R selected species. So what are these K selected and R selected species? Let's we see here. It is R selected species. If you see the right, more rapid reproduction, and it is K selected. So if you see, we can group organism based on their reproduction strategy reproduction strategy so you can find uh, and you can classify these animal on the basis of the reproduction strategy some species like human have few and infrequent offspring if you see the human and in a part allow the longer period of the protection and nutrition as you know the child care is a very very significant like the human and other higher animal like the elephant and all uh, to increase their odds for the survival other species have many offspring resulting in the high reproduction rate high reproduction rate like this rat like this rat with the consequences that may of those offspring will not survive to the adulthood. So, if you see, uh, most of these uh, offsprings are died uh, before the uh, reaching the adulthood. So, uh, we can uh, call two types of the organism: K selected. And R selected. So it is K selected and it is R selected. Let's we see R and P. So if we see, so guess what type of the uh, uh, this type of the animal and reproduction uh, uh, strategy? It is K selected. So what is K selected? See here. K selected species such as these species have so the rate of the reproduction and the maturation, but a strong and prolonged nutrition with a higher likelihood of the survival into the adulthood. So, if you see the what is K and what is a pre refer for the K. So, K refer for the carrying capacity. K means carrying capacity. As you know, uh, in science we use generally the Latin word. So, here K means carrying capacity. So, another is R selected species. If you see, R selected species produce relatively frequent batches of the numerous offspring like rabbit, bees. If you see, they like rabbit, bees, but are less supervised and many do not survive. So, here R is what is R? Refer to the reproduction. Here R is refer for the reproduction. So it is called R selected species. So I hope you can easily understand what is K selected species and what is R selected species. Let's we move forward and see biomagnification and food chain. So what is the biomagnification and in food chain? So see here with an example. So, as a chemical element or compound work in way up to the food chain, so some of the chemical element, basically these chemical element are the toxic in the, as you know, recent year we use various type of the chemical for the production, uh, be, uh, better production for the uh, agriculture, uh, in agriculture. So, uh, these uh, 
and a harmful chemical reach in the food chain and it become more concentrated or biomagnified. So many toxins are biomagnified with each step of the food chain. So if you see uh, here 0 0.04 ppm but if you 0 0.4, 0 0.23, 2.7 and 13.5. So it is basically biomagnified. So what is the consequences of these biomagnified uh, uh, basically of these toxic uh, chemicals? Let's we move forward and see here another piece. So higher level heterotroph basically you see the higher level heterotroph like this eagle. eagle. So, must consume many lower level heterotrophs as you know that they consume this heterotroph, this heterotroph and this heterotroph. So, crash of heavy metals or other toxin taken up by autotroph may result in the concentration in high enough to cause illness or death in their predators or predators predators. So, it means some of the toxics or heavy metals basically consumed by the auto drop basically go to the higher level and it may be the death of the, some uh, higher level predators or the illness of some higher level predators. One of the best example is uh, vulture in India as you know some chemical basically uh, biopesticides uh, spread in India so you can't find such type of the group of vulture in these days. If you uh, assume or uh, remember uh, 20 or 30 years back, you can uh, you can easily uh, memorize the type of the vultures present. So after uh, why this is the biomagnification because uh, uh, the pesticides eaten by the uh, some animals or, or or animals eaten by these type of the higher level uh, animal uh, like the vulture and all also another example best example is from the ddt um, in uh, uh, united states in 1970s and after that some of the highest level of the eagle basically died due to these bio magnification so that is the basically it is very very dangerous for the higher level uh, heterotroph uh, basically so that's all about today's lecture and today's lecture, I hope you will easily understand what type of the organism in human ecosystem. So, our next video uh, will be next week, next Thursday. So, thanks for watching this video. But before going, please, please subscribe our channel. If you want to help me, then can you uh, then can you easily help? As uh, I uh, you know. Uh, it is very very significant video and uh, it's uh, need very rigorous uh, you know labor so that's why uh, 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 that's why if you want to help us then so thanks thanks a lot